Go Extenus has a proof controversial legislation in surrounding the role of the military in law enforcement despite soaring violent and repeated allegations that the country security forces have committed human rights abuses. Lawmaker put through the interior security law early on Friday amid heavy security to stop protesters who elect the measure will militarize the country and the main appeal strategy of using soldiers to combat drug cartel. The bill now returned to the lower house of Congress where it's passed it expected to bear formality. Quyết gai on 10 December 2006, President Felipe Calderón loan Mexico at war on drug by sending 6,500 troops into his home state of Michoacán, where rival cartel were engaged in feed for that massacre. Calderón declared US day after taking power a move while seen as an attempt to boot his own legitimacy after a bitterly contested election victory. Feed in two months, around 20.000 troops were involved in operation across the country. The US has donated at least 1.5 đô la Mỹ BN through the Merida Initiative since 2008, while Mexico has spent at least 54 đô la Mỹ BN on security and defense since 2007. Critics say that this influx of gas has helped create an open security industry open to corruption at every level. But the big gas cost has been human since 2007, around 200.000 people have been murdered and more than 28.000 reported as disappeared. Human Rights Group has also detailed a vast right in human rights abuses by security forces. As the cartel has fractured and diversified, other violent crimes such as kidnapping and extortion have been so searched. In addition, hundreds of thousands of people have been displayed by violent, improved collaboration between the US and Mexico has resulted in numerous high-profile arrests and drug busts. Episode say 25 of the 37 drug trafficker on Calderon at most wanted list has been jailed, extradited to the US so killed or do not or of this action has been independently corroborated. The biggest victory and most embarrassing blunder under Peanieto at leadership was the recapture, escape and another recapture of Joaquin and Chapo Guzman, leader of the Sinaloa cartel. While the crackdown and capture of Kingpin has won prey from the media and US, it has done little to reduce the violence. Mexico at decade long war on drugs would never have been possible without the huge injection of American gas and military cooperation under the Merida Initiative. The fun has continued to flow despite growing evidence of serious human rights violations. Thank you for your feedback. Human Rights Organization has also won that the law could turn over public security and policing duty to unchanged soldiers under the command of unaccountable army brass while reducing civilian oversight and relegating human rights to an afterthought. We are concerned that the bill gave the armed forces a leadership and coordination role in certain circumstances rather than limiting their role to aiding and assisting civilian authority, said a statement issued by the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. It does dig in the absence of solid control mechanism to ensure that operations are carried out with full respect for human rights. Shortly after taking office in December 2006, then President Felipe Calderon announced a crackdown on drug cartel, deploying troops in his home state of Michoacan and then across the country. More than a decade later, soldiers still patrol the street but violent has solved the rule of law remain elusive and corrupt police forces still operate with widespread incompetence. The law arrived at Mexico suffered its most murderous year on record in 2017. The country registered 2,371 homicide in October more than any month since 1997.
Eton Seoul Cam S Campaigning Start for Presidential Election Schedule for 1 July Next Year Week are expected to be contentious and close. Critics say the law could be abused easily for political purposes while others working in human rights when the law allows soldiers to stop peaceful protests. What did law does is that under the pretext of giving legal certainty to the military would allow the president to use the armed forces in a way that is stay entirely excluded the possibility of they intervene in protests that are not peaceful, said Santiago Aguirre of the Miguel Agustin Pro Juarez Human Rights Center. What warriors is the determination of when a protest is peaceful or not will rest with the military, the law proposes classifying internal security as a matter of national defense, allowing information on army operation to be classified as secret. It also permits the president to deploy soldiers for operation of up to one year but it can be extended for as many times as deemed necessary. This will provide absolutely no incentive to improve the police aggregate of the law. Supporter of the legislation insists the new law establishes true for deploying the armed forces while providing incentive for local politicians to improve police forces and stop